Today in the dungeon, we check out the Dark Matter Distortion from TC Electronic.
very recently I did another video on uh, this pedal, the TC Electronic Mojo Mojo Overdrive. And uh, I bought it for under 50 bucks, brand new. I liked it so well that I had to run out and buy the distortion pedal equivalent, which is the Dark Matter that I just demoed. I, uh, I'll be honest, I was, <clears throat> I've really kind of been into overdrive pedals lately and I've been trying out different things between, you know, the Mojo Mojo and, you know, my old trusty OCD. And then I recently got a version 3 OCD uh, that I really, really like, you know, along with some other boost pedals, et cetera, et cetera, you know, more, more to come on all that stuff later. But anyway, I have really been disappointed with just about every distortion pedal that I have played through lately. And, uh, to the point where it's pretty much been amp distortion or bust. Uh, but I liked that overdrive so well, I wanted to run out and get the distortion pedal equivalent. And uh, much as they did on the distortion pedal, TC Electronic absolutely delivered. I have since learned that these two pedals, along with the Spark Boost pedal and the Spark Mini, are part of a series that they call the Analog Series. You know, the, uh, the housings are pretty much the same as the Tone Print, series difference being obviously there's no usb no usb port and no tone no tone print feature uh and they're pretty much all analog which uh, is kind of surprising because tc electronic is really known to be a digital company you know again solid you know built very very well it has you know you, you it does you are able to use a battery with it it does take a standard nine volt power supply you know uh, one spot or a you know boss uh, PSA power supply, whatever, you know, whatever it might be, you know, it says 40 milliamps. I would be surprised if it was that much. Most overdrive and distortion pedals are, you know, half of that or less. Um, but they probably put that much on there just obviously to be on the safe side. But it, again, it does also run off of batteries and it has this little thumb screw here in the back that, uh, using your thumb is kind of difficult or your fingers is, is difficult to get it off, but it's got a big wide slot in there that, uh, you can stick a quarter in it and uh, unscrew it that way and get to the battery compartment. So, you know, if you're playing this thing with a gig and you don't have a screwdriver handy to get inside of it, you or somebody's probably got a quarter that uh, can get you inside of it and stick a battery in it and get you through the rest of the show. Uh, you know, it looks cool and it really, you know, just because, you know, the name Dark Matter Distortion uh, and, you know, the fact that it's a black distortion box, it kind of lends itself, the name anyway, kind of lends itself to the fact that it's, you know, that's a high gain metal distortion pedal, but it's, it's, you know, and while I think it certainly does get into, get into that, that realm, you know, maybe not modern high gain, but, uh, you know, eighties, nineties, I think it, it, it could certainly get into that neighborhood. You know, I don't, it's, it's really not, it's, it's not really what, uh, you know, what a modern metal head would, uh, would go after as far as a distortion. I mean, I, I, it's not going to be, it's not like a Mesa Boogie clone or anything like that, you know, but it does seem to do not Marshall type of tones, but, you know, because it's not quite that, not quite that warm. Uh, it's not, not quite that bright rather. Uh, it's, it's definitely warmer, maybe even a little bit on the dark side, kind of like the Mojo Mojo. You know, it definitely lends itself towards the darker type, uh, darker side of the tonal spectrum, which is cool. I mean, which is very cool. So if you're, if you're plugging it, uh, if you're playing it through a bright amp, this Panama amp that I'm playing through is, is a pretty bright amp and is set, uh, fairly bright. You know, this thing sounds, I think really, really good with it. And, you know, it, it covers just about all the tonal spectrums, uh, you know, without going all the way up into Uber high gain flamethrower distortion but beyond that it will do just about everything else uh and to be honest with you i think it would you know in the right setting on the right stage you know turned up enough uh i think it would probably suffice the you know the really really high gain stuff i think it would probably perform that stuff pretty well now too now that i think about it but uh you know it all it kind of does the you know the low to mid gain you know, bluesy stuff, you know, where if you just need just a little bit, you know, the actually, I, I was surprised the gain knob turned all the way down was surprisingly actually a, a really cool, uh, light gain tone. You know, I didn't, uh, I didn't think I'd like that as well as I did, but I do. Again, much like the Mojo Mojo distortion, uh, the one complaint that I have with this thing is the voice switch in the middle. It is supposed to switch the mid the mid range boost on it from the op, uh, the the lower mid range to the upper mid range, and switching it back and forth, you know, no, really doesn't seem to matter where you have the gain control set. Where you know the the there is very little, if any, tonal difference 
uh, between the two between the two settings. I personally think that you know, and they have it labeled as a voice switch. I personally think that that should have been you know a much clearer, you know, a very clear difference in differentiation in voicings. Instead, it's it's next to nothing. But you know, that's a very 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 minor detail considering how well I like everything else that it does. Fantastic, fantastic pedal, and the best part is brand. You can buy these brand new at uh, Guitar Center or uh, Amazon or Sam Asher or whatever your uh, music store of choice might be. Uh, these things br sell brand new for about forty nine bucks or less. I think I saw them on Amazon for about forty four. To be honest with you, fantastic pedal, under fifty bucks, no question, best distortion pedal I've ever played. This thing to me sounds like I should have paid, again, like the Mojo Mojo, sounds like I should have paid every bit of 100 to 120 bucks for it. So if you buy one of these, even if you buy it brand new, uh, if you're anything like me, you're going to feel like you're getting a great deal on it. And that's exactly how I feel. Like I got a great deal on it. And, you know, this is a pedal that's going to be in the arsenal for a long, long time. The best thing about me doing YouTube videos is it gives me an opportunity to raise awareness for an organization called Share the Music. And what Share the Music does is they take donations of broken guitars and other instruments or unwanted guitars and other instruments, uh, repair and or refurbish them, and then donate them to uh, needy children or music programs that are otherwise unable to afford their own instruments so that they can have an opportunity to get involved in music just like you and you and I have. They have taught me what it really means to give the gift of music to others. And it's a gift that I can never repay except to help raise awareness uh, and try and pass that same gift on to you folks here who have been so kind to watch uh, some of my videos and interact with me here in the electronic world. You can visit Facebook via the link on your screen. The same link will also be down in the description below. All other applicable links will be down in the description below as it relates to this video as well as other various methods that you can contact me directly. And I love when people contact me directly because then we get to talk about gear and we get to interact via the electronic world interwebs thing, which is kind of cool and the thing to do these days.